It's been over a year that 988, the life-saving crisis line, was launched here in California. Those difficult calls are often answered by local volunteers, and we introduced you to some of them last year. So our Kenny Choi checked back with one of those call takers and has more on how effective the system has been and the improvements that can still be made. Walking among redwoods is one way Jim Giffen takes a breath and break from calls that can be extremely intense as people cry out for help. When a fellow human being reaches out in, in a dark time and they have no one, I wanted to be able to volunteer my time to be that someone. You're both in new and stressful situations. He volunteers to answer calls. Federal officials say there's been a 35% surge to 988 in its first year of operation compared to the old 10-digit line. For Jim, it's personal. I have members of my family that struggle with con addiction and continue to struggle with addiction. And we visited Buckaloo helpless. programs in Nevada last year as it launched the three-digit line. It's one of 12 call centers across California that are part of the national network. 1% of their calls this past year were considered high risk of suicide. So we have the ability to give them help and, and steer them in the right direction in, in many cases. But awareness of compassionate call takers, the service they provide, and help connected to it remain a challenge. Only 18% of adults in the country are aware of 988, according to a survey released by the Pew Charitable Trusts. Part of the, the outreach we have been doing for this past year, part of the nationwide outreach, is helping to reduce the stigma about reaching out for help. Chris Kuhn is CEO of Buckaloo Programs, the 50-year-old nonprofit that runs 988 for most of the North Bay. We've been able to help people de-escalate from a crisis situation. The next step is to get them access to that right level of service in their local community. Those services include a wide range of mental health and substance use treatment programs, including counseling for children, teens, and adults. But getting connected to much needed help often starts with a conversation with a caring and compassionate call taker like Jim. They don't know me, they will never know me. And I don't know them, I will never know them but it's just two human beings, you know, one person reaching out and another person trying to be there for them. He's one volunteer making 988 one of the first calls for help. Buckaloo Programs is still looking to hire or train volunteers. They say there's a severe lack of mental health professionals to work for their mobile crisis response teams, so they need help. If you see, uh, if you see the information, check it out. Now,